having arrived just yesterday, is a signal that in fact this indeed will be the city of champions. It is important that we provide a conducive environment for everyone, from the county assembly and executive to professionals in national county governments, business community, investors and the residents of Eldred and Wasingishu to give their best and give Kenya a city worthy of a gold medal. What you have done so far is commendable and you must now proceed together to the next higher step. I commend the people of Wasingishu County, members of Wasingishu County Assembly and executive members, as well as the business and investment community, professionals and every worker and every business person for their invaluable support and countless hours of effort to make this transition possible. At a very personal level, I am a very proud person today that this city that I grew up around and I have two occasions that are firmly ingrained in my mind. The first is when I came in 1981, January, to Wareng High School. And my father, Daniel Kipruto Kirongosi Samoe, bought for me a pair of shoes in the streets of Eldoret. It was my first pair of shoes and it is very memorable that that city is today, that town today is a city. I am also reminded again of another occasion when in 1985, 1984, sorry, in October, when I worked for the first time as a clerk after Form 4 in Kapkong Farm for the late Paul Boyd, and he paid me 300 shillings. It was my first wage. And I came to Eldred Town at Hughes Building, for those of you who know where Hughes Building used to be. And I bought, I bought for myself a pair of jeans with 137 shillings of my hard-earned wage. It is a moment I remember that it was my first time to walk into a shop and buy a brand new pair of jeans. That is the city, that is the town that today has graduated after immense hard work, commitment, drive by farmers, by business people, by sportsmen and women who have contributed significantly to the growth of this city. And today, we celebrate the city of Eldoret. <laughs> Finally, I am reminded, because this is my hometown, that just behind here, when I first ran for a member of parliament, I didn't have a house. And it was a big problem because many people said this man will run away once we elect him because we, know, we don't know where to find him. <laughs> so my supporters told me you must get a house. So I, I got a house. In fact, it belonged to one athlete. So I rented the house. But my supporters said this man has bought this house. And he has not just bought the house. He has bought the house together with the dogs that were in that house. <laughs> just to signify how uh, uh, I had, you know, the ability to be around. And 
the rest is history. So I am truly